welcome into the at Flippin' Hippo's YouTube channel. I'm Starla Flippin' Hippo and on today's episode of Hungry Hippo, I'm going to show you guys how I make my iced coffee. I've had this request a lot, um, so I'm going to show you how I do it. I have experimented with the ratio of ice cubes to coffee um, probably for like a year until I perfected it for my taste. So I'm going to show you how I do it and then when you do it at home to recreate it you may have to experiment a little bit, maybe more ice or less ice depending on how strong you like your iced coffees. I also, I am a really big fan of really really strong coffee so we use this Intense Bold by Maxwell House. This is a pretty inexpensive coffee, in fact most times when it's on sale it's actually cheaper than the store brand. Um, and they have, you know, wide varieties from Breakfast Blend, which is really a kind of like a wheat coffee. They have decaf if you don't like caffeine. Um, and they have it all the way up to this intense bold. But Keith and I really, really like strong, strong coffee. So we use this. Um, we do have a Keurig, but we don't use the pods. Obviously, we use coffee. We buy these little baskets. These baskets are like three or four bucks at Walmart. It lasts about six months, and then you need to replace it. Um, the screen, there's two screens on it here, there's a screen inside. It's already preloaded with coffee. Um, they'll start to weaken over time and then you'll start to see grounds on your coffee. Um, well, we learned that the first one we bought. So now we just replace it like every six months. But it's an expensive way to use your Keurig without spending all the money on the pods. And pods create a lot of waste for the environment. So this is a much more um, eco-friendly and budget-friendly way to do your Keurig. Uh, and then you can um, you can have different kinds of coffees if there's people in your house that don't like the same kind of coffee, just like you would do pods because everybody loves their own basket. All right, so what I have found in my experimentation over the years, um, because I like strong coffee, the perfect ratio for me is six to eight ice cubes, and then I use the smallest cup of coffee on the Keurig. You guys that have Keurigs are familiar. You have small, medium, and large. Um, I say six to eight ice cubes because even up to eight, it still tastes good to me. And I do like a lot of ice in my drinks. What happens is this melts a lot of the ice. So if you only put six, you're going to end up with a really cold coffee, but not so much ice left over. And if you put eight cubes, you'll have cold coffee with some ice left over um, and it's still strong enough. So I use the small one because as it melts the ice, it makes more water, which makes it not as strong. Um, and then Keith and I buy Carnation International Delight. Honestly, we buy whatever's on sale. We don't have a particular flavor, like some people have one flavor they buy all the time. Whatever's on sale at the store, and then we experiment. We buy different flavors every week at any given time, actually, in our fridge. We have like four bottles of different flavors. Um, but every week at the store, we'll buy another flavor or two. Just whatever's on sale. Um, I do like hazelnut. I actually like all the flavors. I'm not too particularly picky. I just like flavor in my coffee. You can, at this point, add sugar or artificial sugar if you like your coffee sweeter. I don't. I like it strong and I like just a hint of flavor and sweetness in mine. So I don't add sugar or artificial sweetener, but if you do, this is when you want to add it. Just right on top, sprinkle it over your ice. This will take care of melting it. And add as much creamer as you like. You can always add more at the end. So then I just push that little small button it's kind of cool to watch too because it'll mix with the cream. It's kind of pretty. There it goes. And you'll hear the ice settling as it melts. This is a nice alternative to uh, going out and paying for iced coffees. You guys know that Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, places like that, it can be four to five dollars for an iced coffee. And even if you go to places like Circle K or Sheets, anywhere like that, it can still be like two bucks a pop. And Keith and I love coffee, we drink a lot of coffee, so um, I think that this is a, a nice budget friendly way for us to have one or two iced coffees a day without spending all of our hard earned money on it. And then I just stir with my straw. Uh, I have 
delicious iced coffee. I did want to mention one other thing. If you don't have a Keurig and you still have an old fashioned coffee pot with the um, glass carafe, you can still do this. I would just make your coffee very strong. So, like, if you do a full basket of coffee, normally you would do the 12 cups in your carafe, do six cups with the full basket. So it's extra strong and then you can just pour it over your ice cubes. And then additionally, another trick you can do, um, some people take and make coffee ahead of time and then they put it in ice cube trays and freeze it in their freezer and you can use the coffee ice cubes in here instead of water ice cubes. And then you can still do the large cup because then you're getting all the water that you need. And then as the coffee ice cubes melt, your coffee stays strong and doesn't get watery. That's another trick some folks use. Um, but this general recipe can be done with Keurigs or regular coffee pots. You just have to experiment to your taste. Um, this is good if you like strong coffee. If you like it a little bit weaker, you can buy a weaker coffee or you can do more water. Um, I'm curious to know if you guys have any particular tricks or tips or ways that you make iced coffee at home. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm always up for experimenting with coffee because we love coffee. And if you try this or you alter it in any way, let me know. I, I always like to hear what, what you guys do with the recipes I give you. Uh, so comment down below. Hit the thumbs up before you leave. Join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Link is in the description box. And that is where I take all of the requests for videos just like this. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. And you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm at, hip at Flippin' Hippos across all social media. Until next time, guys, go enjoy some iced coffee, go be productive, go make some money. Thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.